Word on the street is admission is free at Lordson Gardens on Monday, but around here we don't just trust the street. So we are going straight to our source to see if it's true. And if so, what can you do, no cost, in addition to looking at pretty flowers? Yeah, Mia Jenkins returns from the gardens. Good to see you, Hi, Mia. Mia. Good morning. So, really? What's the scoop? <laughs> is it free? Or what a is great it free? question. It so is. Really? It's I mean, free. It's a very rare occasion that we open the garden gates for free, but we are doing it on Monday in honor of Labor Day. And um, there's so much to see. We have a lot of fine art mixed among the flowers. We have water features. We have some really nice architectural artifacts and it just combines to create a really visual sensory mm -hmm. experience. Uh, a lot of people use the garden for things other than looking at flowers as well. So they might come for photography or to draw and paint in the garden. Some people come for exercise and they walk and they um, look for wildlife. So there's a lot more to do than just to look at flowers. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you want to see the fruits of our labor, so to speak, mm -hmm. and uh, see all the hard work that our garden staff has put in, um, it's certainly a wonderful time to do that as well. So if we do want to look at those pretty flowers, flowers. What is in bloom right now? Sure, uh, we have, gosh, summer annuals are at their peak. So they've been, you know, in the ground since March, April. So you, you see a lot of things at their maturity, a lot of zinnias, a lot of coleus, a lot of begonias. And um, you have roses in bloom in terms of the perennials. A lot of goldenrod or state flowers starting to come uh -huh. up and pop up in the prairie areas. Um, the ornamental grasses are looking very lovely right now. Mm -hmm. I always love the flowy nature of them. They add a lot of height and texture to mm -hmm. the garden. And then, of course, you have the conservatory, which is really lush and green all of the time. So uh, this is a great time to kind of, we're right before that seasonal shift mm -hmm. into fall where you see mums and you see the foliage color. And so oh, it's a really just lush, yeah, verdant, gorgeous. really relaxing environment. Mm -hmm. And that's, I think, the takeaway oh. for Labor Day. When you have a holiday, mm -hmm. we are always so busy. It's just great to take time to really, truly relax and unwind. And, and nature just has a special way of doing that for mm -hmm. you. And when you have these free days out at the gardens, I think you, you get a lot more people out there and you get a lot of first timers out there. Mm -hmm. When you get those first timers out there, what are they most surprised at uh, when they walk into the garden? Sure. Um, we do hear that a lot, and that's one of the very important things um, as a regional center for horticulture and horticultural education and conservation of those plants. It's important for us to pass that on to people and really allow them to have a connection with nature. And we realize that it's not in everyone's budget. So um, it is important to us to be able to open it up for other people to see. But uh, the thing that we hear is they just didn't realize how big of mm -hmm. a place we are. And we have that we're fortunate that we are just kind of tucked into that mm -hmm. river valley, um, which allows us some nice hills and valleys mm -hmm. and the the topography of the place mm -hmm. is one of the things where things are just tucked in here or there um, but it's just it's it's usually we had no idea how big this was we had no idea how beautiful it was here and that always makes us feel really really good and then also I, ne I never realized how much you have going on because there are mm -hmm. always events and educational programs and so on free days we tend to sell quite a few memberships as well because they see how much activity we have in the garden in addition to just the, the beautiful themed gardens themselves and they want to be a part of it. So mm -hmm. free on Monday. Yes. Free on Monday. <laughs> That's why she's here today so that you know. Will you do another free day, do you think? Have you already started to look ahead and feel like there's room this fall maybe, yeah. this winter? Yeah, and Monday, I should say, we are open from 9 to 8. So even if you do have to work on Labor Day, because uh -huh. for some people it's not a holiday, you can right. come after work and enjoy it awesome. as well. Um, but yes, it's our 15th anniversary this year. We're really a fairly young organization. And so in honor of our 15th anniversary and 15 years of full-scale operations, we're going to open on Sunday, October 9th as well. So that's mm -hmm. just from 9 to 5, but we're going to have free anniversary cake that day mm -hmm. as well. So when you say cake, I'm always in. <laughs> <laughs> we're all in on that. And, and I've heard it's a 15-foot cake that they're going oh to gosh. cut for 15 wow. years. That's awesome. So it's going to be massive. So hopefully we'll have a lot of people join us uh -huh. in celebration of the garden, and um, we can take care of that cake in, in uh -huh. record time. Yeah, no so. doubt about that. That. Awesome. There's so many beautiful things to see at the garden. Uh, Lordsandgardens.org is the website. The free day, free garden admission on Monday, September 5th, mm -hmm. which is yes. Labor Day. And listen, at the gardens, it's it's so beautiful. They have mums, and then they also have a lot of chrysanthemums, too. <laughs> I mean, they've got both of those things at the gardens. <laughs> Lordsandgardens.org. That was the best. Mike's referring to a moment. It's been a Listen, few I'm years not a, now. Listen, I'm not a gardener. We were, Mia I've was here in the fall. I've killed everything I've planted. Mia was here in the fall, and... <laughs> 
And he asked her, he goes, what's the difference between a mom and a chrysanthemum? No, I didn't really ask She just like looked that. at him like, is this a joke? Am it's I being pranked? Thing. I don't get it. I don't it wasn't understand. exactly like that. I mean, it was close, but it wasn't exactly like that. Well, so we're growing the mums right now. They're in our parking lot oh. beds, thousands of them Good. ready. Uh, so you'll have to come down and see the fall it's mom show. Yeah, well, once let me know when you plant the chrysanthemums, too. Okay. Will do. Thanks, Mia. Mia. Thanks for coming. Have Good a great Monday. You too. Thank you. <laughs>